I said, yo, what's up everybody? I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Got a new video for you today. You already know we're going to talk about it. What happened last night in the NBA? The Lakers got smoked at home by your Milwaukee Bucks. I was charged. Let me let me get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah. yeah. We had to make an example out of the Lakers and let them know there's a difference between top tier and everybody else. Comment, like, subscribe, share the content. Come here if you want to get the latest and greatest Bucks news. I won't make this long. There's not a lot to talk about. The Lakers got smoked at home. We 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 came out the gate gunning. I mean, we scored 40 points in the first quarter. Let, let's oh, this was a savage beating. Like the the score is not even indicative of how this game went. This was a virtuoso performance by your NBA champion Milwaukee Bucks. What I've noticed about your Milwaukee Bucks, our Milwaukee Bucks is they tend to step up in the big games. And what I mean by step up, I mean destroy people in big games. We can go back to Golden State, multiple teams throughout the year, when it's a game like where it's to see if they're contenders, the Bucks will smoke you. That's good and bad. We'll get into it. But before we do, uh, Giannis is the truth. What I mean by that, Giannis is like nobody else is playing in today's game. He's from a different era. He's from that Shaq line, like just dominating, just... When he thinks somebody is on his, they think somebody's on his level, he'll destroy you. This is two games in a row now that Giannis has completely obliterated Anthony Davis. I don't want to hear about Anthony Davis and Giannis in the same conversation ever again. Ever again. Giannis is one of one. Period. Let's get into these numbers real fast, though. Woo! Look at that score, ladies and gentlemen. 131 to 116. We were cooking last night. Bring my apron here in my goods voice. Woo! Giannis, 35 minutes, 17 of 20 from the field, 2 of 2 from 3, 8 of 13 from the free throw line, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks. And the most impressive stat out of all of that for Giannis, no turnovers. Let that sink in. Giannis scored 44 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, almost had a triple-double with no turnovers. Yo, if they give this man MVP again, they're not wrong. Giannis is on a mission. The Bucks are going to mess around and get... They might mess around a three-peat out here. These dudes are for real when it's on the line. The Bucks are a team that... They play to the level of their competition. If you're weak, they might play weak. But if you're good, they're going to come out and show you they're better. It's very interesting dynamic. If they had a coach that could kind of harness that, it would help. But we don't have a coach. We both know that. Uh, we all know that. Now we both, we all know that. And uh, Middleton had a solid performance, a regular Middleton game, 21-5-4. and four. He didn't shoot too hot from three-point line, two or three. Uh, he did have four turnovers, standard uh, Middleton. He just makes bad decisions when passing. I'd rather he just shoot and never pass, but uh, that's just me. And Bobby Porters, can we do something to make – do we need to get a GoFundMe to make sure the Bucks have enough money to, to re-sign Bobby Porters? He, yo, Bobby Porters is most improved player in the NBA. I don't care what nobody says. He is hooping every night for your Milwaukee Bucks. Applaud Bobby, 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 Bobby. was out here giving smoke. 9 to 18, 5 of 9 from 3, 7 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steal, only 1 turnover by Bobby Portis. 23 points. Let's go, Bobby. Drew Holiday, very solid performance. 7 of 12 from the field, 1 of 3 from the uh, three-point line. 10 assists, 15 points. He did have three turnovers. It's a little shaky, but not bad at all. Grayson Allen poured in 12 points, 5 of 9 from the field, 1 of 2. From the three-point line, one or two from the field, four assists. I know Grayson could be looked at as a little dirty, dirty, but he's been really solid for us after like a shaky start. He's 
he's finding what, what his groove is and doing what he can within the offense. So I respect that. And as you can see, everybody that started for the Bucks is plus and a plus minus. And of course, the MVP plus 23, which is wild. Um, and then Middleton plus 16, and you can see everybody else. Uh, on the bench, not too much to talk about. Uh, Connaughton had eight points, two of five from three, three of six from the uh, from the field. Dante DiVincenzo sighting. What? Dante DiVincenzo with plus nine, plus minus, and eight points. I'm not trying to be funny. This might be his best game of the year, for real, for real. And then the Lakers, uh, I mean, Anthony Davis had a regular Anthony Davis game, 22 points, minus eight, only one turnover. Uh, rec Groundhog Day for LeBron, 11 of 19, 3 of 7, 2 of 4, uh, four turnovers, minus 25. Trevor Reeser, minus 19. Russell Westbrook, minus 16, only 10 points. And you can see his minutes are dwindling, only 26. Malik Monk is going to be their future. Uh, 7 of 16, 3 of 10, uh, and he did have 20 points, but minus 6. If you guys remember, Monk was uh, got drafted by the Hornets with high expectations, and he just never reached them there. But it seems in the L.A., he's a whole different man, and L.A. might need to look at him as their future uh, Tier 1 player. When LeBron retires and if A.D. leaves, this is going to be their future. So look for Laker fans. Don't be too, don't, don't be too sad. I mean, you got, you know, two older players that are still good, but you do have Malik Malik Monk for the future and uh, THT. And uh, Stanley Johnson played well, 16 points. He was one of the few people that had a positive plus minus. And THT, they're just not better than us. I'm just going to keep it real. I know they got LeBron, Westbrook, and AD, but they're not a better team than us. And this is a team game. And when we're on all cylinders, nobody in the NBA can beat us, period. You say what you want about these other teams, but if our team is on 100 and everybody else is on 100, we'll win nine times out of 10, period, point blank. This is a very important, uh, very impressive performance for the Bucks on the road, smoking these scrubs in L.A., getting them all the way out of here. This game was never close. The Bucks put 38 on them in the first, 40 in the second, and then the third quarter where we were struck, we usually struggled. We had 31. I knew it was over. And then... uh. Fourth quarter didn't matter. We we let the others play to get some run. This was a dominating performance. We made a statement uh, by smashing and washing the Lakers. This wasn't close. This was a virtual. Oh, this was easy to watch. Oh, I love watching that. On the road, smoking contenders. And I'm going to tell you all another thing. This is off topic. I don't count that bubble championship that the Lakers got either. That should have an asterisk by it. Why should we count a championship where... Uh, Mickey Mouse and Roadrunner play basketball at uh, when they're on lunch break. Impossible for me to count that. No fans. Let me just get off of that. Bucks smoke these scrubs. 131-116. Fear the deer. And y'all, the whole league better be on notice. We're coming for back-to-back. -back. We have the unadulterated best player in the NBA. Period. You got something to say? Say it in the comment section. I'll debate with anyone. Period. Bucks out here, cat. They caught a body. Oh, they caught a body at uh, in L.A. Oh, mm. Mm. I went over my five limit time limit. I apologize, y'all. I was charged. I'm hyped. I'm gonna cut it short now. Bucks win one thirty one one sixteen. Smoking the Lakers with their full staff available, which means LeBron, A.D. Westbrook, and they got punished. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video, enjoy the content. Let's talk about it in the comment section if I was too charged. Go.